Howdy, good friends. Today we're going to be talking about the Emo Creative 1616M. Creative Emu. Emu by Creative, Creative by Emu. Well, however, that lines up. And uh, my recording device has been the 1616M that I've been using now for quite a long time. I'd say probably around 10 years. And uh, it's a great device. Uh, it's kept up with me so far. A lot of the problems that I've had with my PC, I've uh, suspected being uh, having to do with that card. But nonetheless, it has not been the card. It's actually held up really well over the years. And uh, But since my computer crashed, uh, from my graphics card failure the other day that gives me opportunity to kind of load up this uh, device because I, I think it's a really valuable asset for the uh, home studio producer uh, recording artist that you, maybe you're looking for a cheap option uh, for recording interface and you know what's gonna work good for you what's gonna keep you up to date what's gonna keep keep you moving in the studio and uh, I really recommend the Emu Creative 1616M. However, with the Windows 10 update, it's not the most, uh, you, you gotta do some work to it. And so that's what I'm gonna show you here, is how to get the uh, drivers working for your Windows 10 update. And so here we go. That requires you to look at this website here. Microsoft has uh, in their community forum this got solved right here and I'm gonna just follow through with this process here basically all the instructions are right there you know nothing too nothing too heady um, but it will require that you do some rigmarole uh, so that being the case, we're gonna go. We're gonna, so since I don't have any of my Emu drivers or Patchwork software installed yet, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link. Open it up. Here's our file. Save that. Was it extract the zip file to a folder on your main Windows 10 drive and call it temp? And we'll wait for that to download. All right, now that is downloaded, I'm gonna do as it says: extract all. I'm just gonna go right to that uh, local spot in my main C drive. I just created a new file, called it a new folder, called it temp, and uh, we're gonna extract. And all right, there we have the files extracted. And let's see what the instructions say next. It says, now we are gonna install the beta drivers. All right, so those files, the files are gonna install. The next thing it's gonna tell me to do is restart in safe mode, which means holding the shift key uh, when clicking on restart. So I'm gonna do that, and once I've done that, we'll come back to where we are here and first I'm going to just read the rest of the instructions. Choose troubleshoot, advanced options, options, startup settings and then click restart. Uh, then you will later be prompted uh, with safe, safe mode restart. Restart option, click option 4 in safe mode and then you get, you get it all loaded up. In, so once in safe mode right click on the start button open Windows PowerShell admin and uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do all that. Type into the PowerShell window. CD C temp emu driver fix. We're gonna right click with your mouse to run the script. Run and with the help of Windows PowerShell admin. Um, let's see. This is a this is a modified version of Clubhouse Keys script. This will replace our Windows files with the new updated files. Performing this step in a normal Windows environment will either cause the script to not run at all due to script settings within Windows, or some files will not get overridden because they're in use. Now I seem to remember when I did this that I ran into a problem uh, which I'll have to fix and uh, once I get there but let's see here you should now have it's, it's 
So once I do all that, restart normally, install the patch, patch mix software, uh, work as normal. Extra ASIO X64 driver. If you plan to use 64-bit driver in 64-bit DAWs, click start, start, type reg edit in the search bar, registry editor to run it. All right, let's go ahead. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and let's send this to myself here. And um, so I can load it up on my other device and we can see about um, what I can do. And if I run into any, any problems, I'm, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to mention them. So here we go. Okay. Yeah, install. Um, let's see. No, I will restart my computer later because once I uh, now that I have that installed, I'm gonna do the instructions to shift restart. So uh, we're gonna pause that there and come back to you on the other side once I've done the other stuff. Now, here we are in uh, this little mode here. We gotta hit troubleshoot. I believe it's advanced options, startup settings. And we're gonna start up settings, click restart. because I can't, obviously can't get a screen cap of what I'm doing here. My Sabertooth X58 motherboard. Oh, motherboard. Also another really great workhorse that's lasting me, you know, a long time. And really, when you think about it, that graphics card did last quite a while. I just don't think it was the right choice. And we're going to click the number four on the keyboard. And that's going to bring us up in safe mode. Once in safe mode, we're going to right click on the start button and open Windows PowerShell. Here we are, right click, Windows PowerShell Admin. Alright, now that we're in this PowerShell window, type CD. So you can see the CD space. Uh, it's in the C drive. Temp. Emu underscore um, driver fix. Of course, I'm doing this with one hand. This is very shaky, but I'll make sure that it's you can see it. Emu driver fix. Right. Or you can right click with your mouse to run the script with help of Windows. Eh, whatever. Just gonna hit enter. See, this is what I ran into before. It says cannot find path because it does not exist. You're out of your mind. Of course it does. Emu driver fix.
I'm going to move all this stuff. I'm going to bring it back to here. And see if that fixes the problem. Uh, I don't want that, Riley. You can take that away. Not in the mood. CD space C temp. You see mom's backpack anywhere? No. Okay. Underscore driver fix. Okay. Driver fix. See if that works. Does not exist. It's right there. Well. So I ended up just running it like this. I just came over here, I did a right click, and I clicked run with PowerShell. And it ran through really quick and, and closed out on its own. And we're going to assume that that got. All right, we've gone through all the rigmarole. Let's check out our app. We got I got my patchwork open here and as you can see everything seems to be on what I'm gonna do is make sure that I load up all the channels that I need I can do six channels simultaneously eventually I'll be able to do eight once I get um, I'll be going for the ADA DMPA 2 uh, that actually does two channels ADAT so I'm going to go ahead and just load that up anyways because I'm going to eventually get there. Uh, I always insert a peak meter there at the top, making sure that I've got um, a readout on my signal and um, assigning all those channels to the appropriate um, sends. So I've got stereo left and right, channels 1 and 2, mic A, B, and then the on the... The inputs on the back of the 1616M, um, I have four more channels, which are left and right channel one and left and right channel two. And then there's the ADAT, which I, I, I'm, I am able to bring in um, the SPDIF uh, signal from, like, that's what I use for my um, output signal from my computer into the box. Um, in the ADAT input there, uh, but I have to do it on a lower resolution, uh, nine, uh, 48 kilohertz. Um, watched a really interesting video on sample rates yesterday. I'm pro I'll I'll post the link in the uh, in in the description. And so, but anyway, so let, let's let's test our signal now that we got everything dialed in here. So I'll just use my mic signal here and unmute it. Let's, let's just start, I'm just starting from channel one here. Here's channel one signal. Seems to be looking good. There's channel one. We'll go panning on over to channel two. Now it should be in channel two, there we go. Now we go into channel three. Let's see if channel three is working for us. Oh, that's right. I... You need it. Check, check, check. There we go. There's channel three. And we're bringing up channel four here. Is it in channel four now? Turn up the right thing. Yes, I did. Didn't seem to want to give me any signal here. Check, check, check. Oh, there we go. And there's channel four. Check, check. Now I got it going. Stereo left and right bow channel. Check, 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 check. Oh, it looks like that channel's not not loving it. Not loving it. I'm not loving it. Oh well, I'll worry about that later. Um check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Sometimes these signals they just like 
pop and snap into place once you get enough signal going through. I, I, I don't know the science is behind that, but that just it's something that happens. So there you go, that's channel four. Uh, let me see. Um. Here, let's just let's do it like this. Come along, come along, come along, long, 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 long. Ching chong, ching chong, ching. And now that that's, gonna, I should be good. Yeah, there we go. So now I can send it to three. Now it's going to channel three, and now we got it in channel four. All right, there you go. We are, uh, we've got signal going everywhere it needs to go. And that's how you get six channels going, 192 kilohertz on your creative emu. I can get two more once I get an ADAP machine and uh, it's working perfectly with Windows 10. And you know, that's what you see me doing. Every time you see me using Pro Tools, this is my setup. In Pro Tools 2018, gonna have to get that installed um, all right there you have it that's it for now Au revoir. and so if you like the content that you're seeing here and you enjoy uh, the information that you're getting and uh, the overall vibe the overall atmosphere you want to incorporate a part of your life make sure to like subscribe share hit the notification bell you will always be notified whenever I go live. I'm on Minds. I'm on Gab. I'm on Parler. Parlay. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And I'm everywhere on the internet. And whatever your preferred platform, I'm there for you, with you. We stand together. We fight for what is right. And uh, that's it. God bless.